Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. In the previous video we saw how to install Wink Unify. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create a modern user-friendly navigation system in WinCC Unify. The fastest and easiest way to do this is by using the template suite provided by Siemens. This tutorial is useful whether you're just getting started or even coming from older software. By following along, you'll learn how to build menus and organize your screens with ease. Let's begin by explaining what the template suite is. First, open your preferred search engine, Google or Microsoft Bing, and type Temple Suite. The first result will likely be Siemens' official web page dedicated to Temple Suite. Let's begin by clarifying what Temple Suite is. As its name suggests, this template provides a modern, standardized template you can use to build and structure your application's navigation. This web also includes sample lists and various screen examples to help you get started. To explore how Temple Suite works, we'll download it directly from the Siemens webpage. Temple Suite offers two main variants, Temple Suite Wizard and Temple Suite Libraries. The wizard is designed to guide you step-by-step -step through the implementation process, while the libraries contain various screens you can simply copy into your own project. For this tutorial, we'll use the wizard. After downloading the wizard package, as shown in the example image, extract the files and install it. Once the installation finishes, open the wizard from your files. The wizard will prompt you to create navigation using an assistant. When you run the wizard, it opens an assistant where you can select the type of navigation you'd like to use. In this demonstration, we'll choose slide bar navigation. After a few seconds, the wizard asks you to select your device type. We will use a unified comfort panel, 12 inch. Then click next. Give your project a name, specify its location and continue with next. The wizard will generate your project. Once it's ready, you'll have the opportunity to customize the elements of your navigation. For instance, you can modify the header, footer, or any default screens that appear. In our case, we'll leave these settings as they are for now and click Next again. When the wizard finishes creating the project, open your newly generated project view. Here you'll see the device set up with the Temple Suite. By expanding the folders, you can explore the different screens provided. You'll notice a special screen copy containing all the elements used by Temple Suite. You can copy these elements directly into your project. Suppose you want to modify the header to include your company's branding. All you need to do is replace the default logo with your own. You can also rename items. Let's say we change the header text to How to Unify for this demo. Essentially, everything is customizable to meet your company's needs.
Once you've finalized your changes, it's time to simulate the project. During the first compilation, you might run into a password error if encrypted transfer is enabled. Simply deactivate the encrypted transfer, save, and recompile. When the compilation completes successfully, a browser window, Google Chrome, for example, will open, showing your default navigation. Remember, you can go back and modify any aspect of your screens at any point. Now you can see the simulation of our project navigation. Lastly, Temple Suite also provides a set of ready-made screens that can serve as templates for various machine configurations, such as industrial ovens and more. This allows you to adapt and customize Temple Suite to suit a wide range of applications with minimal effort. And that is all. Remember, every great project starts with a good idea, motivation, continuous learning, and hard work. Keep pushing forward. To stay up to date and never miss a thing, subscribe and turn on notifications. See you in the next video.